This program is produced by ever-increasing... Four. The rules of professional wrestling haven't changed much in 50 years, but the spectacle certainly has. The most popular hero today and the biggest attraction of them all is Hulk Hogan, the only pro wrestler ever to be on the cover of Sports Illustrated. Hogan has become a multi-millionaire by way of his wrestling, the merchandising of his Hulk toys, and his movie roles. Use your phaser! Then launch photon torpedoes! Hulk's motto to his fans is don't do drugs. Clean living pays off. But today there are allegations of widespread anabolic steroid abuse within the world of pro wrestling. And that is a serious threat to the Mr. Clean image cultivated by Hulk Hogan and the other wrestlers that make up the World Wrestling Federation, or WWF as it's called. We're talking about the single most dangerous group of prescription drugs. Anabolic steroids are powerful muscle building, performance enhancing drugs. Regular exercise plus steroids can transform a 98-pound weakling into a he-man within just a few short months. But doctors are now saying that prolonged use of steroids can cause bone degeneration, sterility, and even cancer. The better, more muscular, larger, stronger your appearance, uh, the more money and more successful you'd be. But to many wrestlers, like this one who wanted to remain anonymous, the potential dangers of steroid abuse just didn't matter. All the pro wrestlers that I associated with at one time or another used steroids. Did you feel compelled to take the steroids to remain competitive? Is that why you did it? Correct. Where were you getting them? Uh, well, initially, uh, you could get them around the weight room until I met Dr. Zahorian. You can experience problems, yet none of the literature that is printed to this date states that there's any documented evidence that the anabolic steroids will cause the problems. Until last June, Dr. George Sahorian was the ringside physician for the Pennsylvania State Athletic Commission. That was when he went on trial for selling illegal steroids to professional wrestlers. The doctor's defense? He was only trying to wean them off the drug. The wrestlers themselves were not prosecuted because at that time, possession of steroids was not a crime. Bruno Sammartino dominated pro wrestling through the 1960s and 70s. He was a color commentator with the WWF as recently as 1988. He remembers Dr. Zahorian appearing frequently in the wrestler's locker rooms. I think that all of a sudden there would be a line that would form to see Dr. Zaharian. Well, after a while, it was, it was known by everyone what was going on. It's all these guys were getting their stuff. They lined up. Absolutely lined up. To get steroids. Yeah, sure. Hulk Hogan, Rowdy Roddy Piper, Rick the Model Martell, Dangerous Dan Spivey, and Flyin' Brian Blair were all subpoenaed to testify at the trial. They all appeared, except for Hogan, who was excused, even though Dr. Zahorian stated that he had known and successfully treated him for a serious steroid abuse problem. The others testified that when they couldn't get to see Dr. Zahorian personally, they mailed him money from wherever they happened to be and were sent the drugs by Federal Express. Dr. Zahorian is a doctor that went bad and used his medical credentials to sell illegal drugs and to sell them on a large scale. Did Dr. Zahorian even bother to examine his patients? No. Dr. Zahorian was dealing steroids the same way that other people deal cocaine and heroin. To get additional proof that Dr. Zahorian was dealing steroids, not prescribing them, West sent an undercover informant in to buy steroids from the doctor. The informant was wired for sound. It's like I told you, cash and carry. You know, if I have it, you got it, you pay. I can't give you anything unless I have the money. West said, you're nothing but a drug dealer. What's your reaction? I don't accept that. But the jury did, and it took them less than two hours to convict Dr. Zahorian. It's hard to believe what's occurred today. One person who regrets ever taking steroids is ex-WWF headliner, superstar Billy Graham. Graham testified that Dr. Zahorian supplied him with 95% of his steroids at the height of his addiction in the 1980s. He says the steroids have completely destroyed the bones in his right leg and also made him sterile. They ruined my wrestling career. They've totally made me uh, uh, a cripple for the rest of my life. I'll never be a, a, normal, uh, a normal man again. Graham, who never hid the fact that he was using steroids, is preparing to sue the WWF 
for encouraging and rewarding his steroid use. When we approach the WWF, they refuse to comment on steroid abuse. Well, the WWF announced back in July that it would begin random steroid testing, but we got a call on Thursday from the WWF saying it had just begun the testing the day before. Still much more ahead as we move along for you. Is there a piece of dangerous equipment on airliners? We'll investigate. And sex in the 90s, we may know less than we think.